Hi, my name is Sue Penn, and I'm here in my studio in Des Moines, Iowa. And I'm a free spirit designer, and I'm here to show you my new collection, Pizzazz. This is the focal piece for Pizzazz. I'll also show you each fabric, and you can see what it looks like. This is a panel print, and it's actually mirrored, so you can get two different looks. But if you look at the painting, you can see I've got lots of stenciling, lots of color. This time I went really bright. I feel like this is gonna make people happy, and that's one of the reasons I paint. Each of the individual feathers is cut out of hand-printed paper that I do. Then I put some gold metallic on it, and I outline in black first, and then I outline with a gold pen to kind of set each feather apart. So that's the panel print. This next painting is called Harlequin, and this is the Harlequin fabric. You can see how it repeats. If you're gonna cut border strips, you probably wanna cut them parallel to the selvage but you can do lots, lots, and lots with this print. The next painting and pattern is called Garden Path. Now this one is really fun. I've been cutting feathers out for a quilt, and each feather that I cut out seems to have a different look, different feel. You can see the fabric right there. This painting is called Pizzazz Party. And what we did was made it smaller on the fabric and overlapped all the feathers. So this is a great backing fabric, border fabric, center of the quilt or center of each block fabric. This painting is just tonal, but when we did the fabric, we overlaid medallions and rings and spots from some of my other fabrics. You can see it's the same painting, it's mirrored here, but it's got a whole new look, a whole new interesting look with all the textures on top. My next four fabrics are more tonal. All of this one's kind of a bright all over. And this is the original painting. You can see how close it is to what the fabric turned out. This little painting is called Rings, and I did painted it in red, and then we ended up changing the, the color, and it ended up being a blueprint, because I really felt like we needed a blue in this collection. When I paint, then I get the paintings all scanned, take them into Photoshop, take them into Illustrator, and I can change colorways, do repeats. It's really fun. This little all over, it has dots and medallions and rings. We went with a pink colorway, and then we also did an aquamarine colorway, and it's a larger scale than the pink. There are so many things that you can do with this collection. I made some aprons, perfect for the peacock. I made a mother apron, an adult apron, and a child apron. I just got the patterns off, free patterns off Pinterest. Let me show you the sales board. There are actually three different quilt projects on the sales board. That's a lot, I'm excited. I've made two of the tops and I'll show you that in a few minutes. Here's the final one. Here's the first top I made. But it's got the peacock in the center and piano keys around it. The tonals are great in this line, this painting and that painting especially, because depending on where you cut out the borders, you get a different color different feel. So it really makes the quilt interesting. This is a second pat free pattern that's on the that's on the sales board and will be on the website. 
This shows the peacock party in the center, and then all of the fabrics from the line are used in this. It kind of has a stained glass look. Um, I love the borders. I love how that harlequin turns out when you use it as a border. Um, it was a super simple quilt, went together very fast. Actually, both of them did. So they're great for beginners. I've been actually designing fabric for more than 20 years. I started out hand drawing and coloring with markers and then the factory would actually put things into repeat and make it so it could be printed on fabric. Then I learned all the graphic design programs, Photoshop, Illustrator, and I began designing for several different companies, um, but it was all digitally done. It was all graphic. Um, then I started actually painting about 12 years ago, and I fell in love with color. When I was a kid, I was classically trained with oils and landscapes and painted little birds and drew people. But when I started painting again, my paintings just came to life. I focused on color. People ask me what my inspiration is when I paint, and I'm just having fun. I don't really have an idea necessarily. I might think, oh, I'll do a peacock painting. Grab some colors and start painting, add layers. I might change things. If I don't like it, I just paint over it and start over. But painting is definitely my happy place. And when I approached Debbie from Free Spirit and showed her my paintings, she's like, you're a free spirit. You need to be part of this company and we wanna print your paintings on fabric. And I was thrilled. The most exciting thing for me is to see what you create with these fabrics. Some of the quilts I've seen, some of the projects I've seen are just amazing. And I'd love to, if you have a chance, to share your photos with me of what you make with this line on my Facebook page, Stupend Designs. Thank you so much for watching and happy quilting.